Hello everyone, it's me John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another Ghost Riders report, right? So I woke up and I saw that <laughs> Obama had freed Chelsea Manning. Now, I was waking up, getting ready for work, checking news feeds and stuff on the train and all that, and I was kind of dumbfounded, like, wow, I really didn't see that one coming. Very surprised by that, you know. I, considering that Obama has been really harsh to whistleblowers or anyone who exposes the imperialist war machine that is America. So I was quite surprised by that and I wasn't really ready to process that. But, you know, I've had a few hours to kind of get my thoughts together about it and see what's going on with it and everything. And, you know, it doesn't, number one, it doesn't change anything about Obama. He's still a bloodthirsty, imperialist, warmongering scumbag. Just because he's let Chelsea Manning go, it means nothing. But why? Why do it in the last days of his presidency? Well, number one, I think it's about legacy. You know, I think history is good, will remember, fully remember, that Obama, you know, I believe either holds the record or close to holding the record for most countries bombed in imperial, for the imperialist agenda in American history. I mean, the bloodshed of innocent people that's on this man's hands is astounding, you know. And the fact that, you know, he's been really harsh, like I said before, to anybody who dares expose the things that America does around the world and exactly what the American empire is. So I think it's about legacy. It's about being, oh, nice guy Obama. You know, he let Chelsea, poor old Chelsea Manny out of jail. You know, he's not so bad, you see? That stuff. Number two is, is something a bit more interesting. If you've been keeping up with things, uh, uh, Julian Assange said that if Obama releases Chelsea Manning, Assange would fully agree to be extradited. He would basically turn himself in, give up. Now, if you think about it in terms of strategy, which one would you rather have? Your, have Chelsea Manning, who's just a whistleblower. You know, he just got the information, gave it to the person who could really do something with it. Or do you want a mastermind? A man who has done more to expose the U.S. empire and what it really is and what it's really about than, than any person like Chelsea Manning could imagine. You know, to take, get Assange on your hands and shut him down. Shut WikiLeaks down once and for all. You take a mighty powerful tool away from people to expose and fight the U.S. Empire. Like I said, you get yourself a mastermind, all right? So the trade-off there, I think that that's also part of it, the strategy. Now, if Assange has said his lawyer to be more exact. I said Assange does intend to stand by his word. And now that Chelsea Manning is going to be released, you know, we would expect Assange, Assange to give himself up. So America lets one go to get something far more back if Assange fully goes, full of, goes through with this, which we're made to be seen. But let's say I saw on Twitter his lawyer said he does intend to stand by his word. So we'll see what happens with this in the coming weeks. But I want to hear what you guys think about this. You know, if you guys have anything more to add about why this is being done or your general opinion of it, well, of course, I'd like to hear. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo, checking out.